I'm instantly reminded of how liberals tend to categorize certain things, especially recently. And it does make me miss the days when these people were just stoned out hippies, and it applied in a way that made sense. It was this brotherly thing, where now I have no idea how I can describe it. It's just a basket of pretension and pseudo-intelligence. They also do this in terms of hiding their pretensions with sophistry. But they tend to label things they do like as organized love. For example, a person taking a photo of someone that's implicitly going out with them, and they're of another race. Oh, that's organized love. But pragmatically describing racial separatism, that's organized hate. Picture of two dudes holding hands and kissing, oh, that's organized love. But someone saying why that really is problematic, the sort of androgynistic beta behavior, that's hate. So this love-hate thing is really just a basket of pretension. But I've said that before, now i got to explain why it's a basket of pretension. Asymmetrical warfare described it in a functional way. What is love? Well, that is the act of inflicting harm to yourself for the unnecessary benefit of someone else. And of course, hatred could be described another way. So, the antithetical way, of course. In other words, I'll basically break, ruin my future, get myself 25 to life in prison just to end the guy's life that I don't like, or to torture him for three years straight in my hypothetical basement that I don't have. Notice that I said that the basement is hypothetical, but my desire to do such a thing isn't. That's not really me implying anything, that's just showcasing where my values are. But how are you harming yourself for the benefit of a mixed race couple, a same sex couple, a multicultural institutions or communities. How are you harming yourself for the benefit of others? In fact, most politicians support these things because enforcing them is easy, bringing them into motion is easy. They don't have to do much work. And they'll get a lot of praise out of it. It's easy as hell. Doing something like making sure that people of two genders without any... No matter what, get paid the same way for the same job, even if one takes days off or the other one was... Had to take a break for a couple of months because they were pregnant. Doesn't matter. At the end of the day, they get paid the same way. That's easy to implement. They'll get praise for it. And it's not going to hurt them. It might get a couple of pragmatic people to say, all right, this person's a jerk. He is really making my business more complicated. 
forget him. I'm not going to vote for the guy. But that's not much of a loss, isn't it? It's just a vote. Whereas something like racial separatism, patriarchy, having a realistic perspective on sexuality, these are all things that aren't going to harm you to hurt someone else. You're not going to get harmed for implementing these things. Yet, nonetheless, it's hateful. And, of course, the definition I'm giving off is very simplistic. But too simplistic, it gets down to a core. Where is the sacrifice in all of this? There is no sacrifice. There is no empathy for these people. I mean, in the 70s, when the gay movement wasn't this abstract thing about turning these people into beta cuddlers locked together in a fake contract, when it was about allowing them to do it, the AIDS epidemic was stronger than ever. Actually, a lot of STDs that we have finally found vaccinations for, they're becoming incurable again, and the vaccinations are becoming useless. The virus is becoming immune because promiscuity is finally getting back up again. So what is that telling us? It's telling us that we really don't care about the other person. This is all ego. And that's okay if you can just call it that, ego. I mean, there's plenty of liberals that I follow and find wisdom in, but they don't cover up their viewpoints with a message of love. They basically go out and they say, oh, I just have an ego. And I deserve to have an ego because I'm a shit. And they rightfully are. Isn't that funny? I'm probably sure others have two, like, mixed-race couples. What's going to happen to a lot of these kids? Muhammad Ali slash Cassius Clay pointed it out very well. Different cultures, different viewpoints. The kids are going to become conflicted. And you see that a lot now with mulattoes, where you can't get along with Blacks because of their interests and their whiteification. And that has taken away some positives. I will admit that. It's not just the white is losing thing. Black is also losing. Because there are some good features about it that got taken away. The Negroid does have some advantages to him. There is something in that and then you take it away and what you got is mush without an identity and the future tumblr rights and where's the fun in that where's the love in that where's the Where's the virtue in any of that? So this is Mr. Rocky 7. I actually wanted this video to be a minute long, but I had to make a point. So suck my dick. <laughs>